Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Leo. Hope everyone's well. Moving into the new year, we're heading towards a week number two here. Let's see what's going on. Overall energy, ooh, round and round. Someone's coming back around, Leo. Oops, there we go. Ah, Treasure Island. Someone's coming in rather slowly. Yeah, someone's moving towards you. I see this Treasure Island, and I feel like somebody is imagining you. Somebody is thinking about you, dreaming about you. Look at that moon. You see, he's got that, see that person down there with the moon? Beautiful. Someone's just hanging off that moon. Yeah, dreaming, fantasizing. You have someone coming around. This is somebody who's rather slow moving. Then I see them heading towards you. It may have taken this person a little time to come back around, Leo. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Leo viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Clear messages for Leo regarding their love life and anything else they need to know. Someone's weighing the pros and the cons of coming back around, making a decision. Yeah, someone's weighing the pros and the cons about reaching out, <laughs> tossing you something. There's a need for some balance, some reciprocity here. Okay, Leo, looks like earth energy, especially with this tortoise and six of pentacles. Yeah, we've got somebody here. Someone's missing you, someone's lonely. They're thinking of reaching out. Okay, beautiful energy. Yeah. Could be someone who just feels like they lack. There may have been somebody, but it doesn't. It feels possible that you got someone coming around, and I feel they're making the decision to reach out. They know they need to be generous. They may feel like they don't have enough money. Okay, they're looking at things from every angle. Someone may be kind of hanging around, checking you out. Someone's thinking about how to approach you. I feel like someone's lonely and they have, they feel a little bit insecure. Yeah, look at that. Someone's thinking about commitment. This could be someone who's around your home that hangs around near your home. Or do you have a place you hang out near your home? Hmm, interesting. I feel like, yeah, so you may have a secret person. Somebody here is, you got, I think you have a secret admirer that lives near your home. But maybe checking you out. <laughs> yeah. Someone's looking at things from every angle. How to approach you. Someone has some deep feelings here. They miss you. Someone's lonely. Pisces Cancer energy. This could be your own energy as well, Leo. Three more cards for Leo. There we go. Yeah, I see a communication coming in very quickly. Coming in out of the blue. Those are those arrows of love. Leo, Leo, Oop, yeah, yeah, look at that, this person's waiting for the right time, oh my goodness, something's going to happen very suddenly, some kind of an epiphany, feel as though something you may be waiting for with the seven of pentacles, I feel as though there's someone here who's coming in uh, to talk to you, be patient with this person. I feel there's something they're going to express, expose with the tower. It's coming in sudden. It might be a little bit of a shake-up. It doesn't feel bad, though. It feels positive. Someone's been hiding their feelings, their emotions. Maybe they have a little bit of a fear. <laughs> they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. All right, to say something, to communicate. Let's see what this Two of Pentacles is. Yeah, so you got someone here who's weighing the pros and the cons about how to approach you. They want to cooperate and compromise. Trying to decide if you're compatible. Ooh, yeah, if there's a connection, if you can get on the same page. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. This person might drop you a few little hints. It might feel like it kind of lacks something lacking, but it's more than likely... Someone who just wants to reach out. They're just going to kind of toss a few hints or say a little something towards you because they're a little insecure. Okay, yeah. So you got someone here who's a little bit indecisive but leaning more towards decisive because once somebody starts moving, 
uh, towards you. They become more decisive. So you may have somebody who, who's coming rushing in looking for some uh, clarity. This is generally uh, in their own head, right? where they feel that energy. This is someone who need, wants to cooperate and compromise. I feel they're ready to come in and speak to you. They're going to come in quite quickly. They might be a little anxious, okay? A little bit of anxiety, feeling a little bit... I think you got someone who's lonely more than anything, and they're kind of like in a rush to communicate. Yeah, there's some kind of a truth. We ha you have a truth, some kind of success. This person's going to come in. <laughs> yeah. I see somebody coming in to speak a truth. They're hoping for success, and I feel they will move forward successfully. Uh, I feel this person may come and tell you the truth. They have some kind of insecurities, or they don't have a lot of money, or they're just lonely. I think they're just going to tell you they're lonely, and they miss you if you know this person. It just looks to me more like someone who's making a decision how to uh, come towards you to make sure they're on the same page when they communicate. Yeah, look at that. So there you go. Yeah, so there's a need for some kind of balance here. You got somebody who may be at a bit of a distance, may need to travel. I feel there is definitely some kind of physical, uh, some kind of chemistry here. I feel this is going to be very tempting. Be patient with this person. Maybe you've been patient. Some of you maybe have somebody at a distance and you've been very, you know, patient. You might be losing a little bit of patience. I feel as though this person's definitely... Um, in their head becoming clearer. I see travel. Doesn't have to be far away. I feel they're trying to... Feels a little bit like a reconciliation or a reunion sort of energy. It can be temperance. Somebody's... feel as though this person's going to try to get their balance because I feel they're a bit anxious, a bit impatient. They want to rush. Uh, but I feel as though there's something that they're learning they're bringing with them because that's what I feel is they're trying to make sure whatever, however they communicate, however they come towards you to get to know you. I feel as though this person is going to want you to be patient with them so they can kind of get to know you. They feel a bit insecure, and I think they'll tell you that. I do, Leo. Tell me about the hanged man. Yeah, they're looking at every you from every angle. They've checked you out thoroughly. I feel they live near your home. Or they're fairly close. I don't feel like they're really far away. Yeah, you've got the Hierophant energy. Yeah, you got someone who's looking at things from every angle here to do with their belief, tradition, behavior, how to get on the same page. I feel so it's I see a Taurus energy here. Uh, with the treasure island, the, the tortoise, slower moving energy. Someone's learning something here. School of higher learning. They're looking at things. They've been on a bit of a pause. Uh, they're doing a lot of inner reflection about commitment, about marriage. This person's got some deep feelings. Like they are somebody who um, feels things very deeply. I feel they have a little bit of deep rooted fears. I do feel they'll speak the truth. I do feel this person wants to have success with you. I'm not going to say, I don't feel like they're like a coward or anything. I think they're just somebody who, they're either insecure or they're lonely and they're just going to tell you. They want to come around. It definitely feels like an ex. It does feel like a reconciliation energy for some, but it's not a real strong reconciliation energy. To me, it feels more for most of you, somebody who's just, trying to make that decision to communicate, to come towards you. Uh, they are somebody who's willing to cooperate and compromise. Uh, they're not sure yet if you're compatible 100%. They need to kind of learn as they go, and it's telling you to, okay? But it's definitely, I see this around and around, someone coming back around, so. Yeah, so there's that hanged man. Yeah, this person's definitely someone who's thinking going within, kind of, you know, reflecting, looking at things from every angle to do with marriage commitment. They could be someone who's hanging around your home. I got to tell you, I feel if you live in an area where there's people around, you know, if you live in like an apartment building or anything like that, Leo, this person could live in your building, okay? Like I feel they're close. 
And I don't feel they're very, they're really far away. And if, if they're not far, they want to approach you, whatever it is. They're trying to figure out an approach, the best way to talk to you, to communicate. Uh, could be a mystery person as well. Look at that. Yeah, they're looking at things from every angle here. They want to start something and make you an offer. No, they're trying to figure out the best approach. <laughs> this is somebody who, boy, it does feel like a Taurus energy. I see Sagittarius here, though. So they could just have um, that earth energy or they're just small. This is someone who definitely is looking at things from every angle. Like they're looking at things differently. Like how should they approach this? Uh, you know, this is a card of the higher school of learning. This is... Uh, they're looking at things to do with faith, tradition, belief, behavior, the way they conduct themselves. Okay, because uh, I see that twice here. So it's a really big energy. I feel very strong Pisces energy. You may have a Pisces moon or they may. Tell me about the moon. Cancer energy as well. So you got some water. Yeah, so this person's definitely, you're not going to expect this or there's going to be something instant that happens. Wow, with this moon energy. This is somebody who's been hiding feelings and it's going to come out. They're going to just come up and like either give you something or talk to you or make you some kind of an offer. And I see a lot of communication, fiery, passionate communication. I feel like this person is going to be anxious to connect with you once they finally. It's like I feel, you know what I feel like? It's breaking the ice. It's taken this person a long time. They've been around and around in their head more than anything. If it's not an X energy, it's someone who's been up in their head and it's been going around and around because I see somebody who's kind of a little anxious, a little impatient. They want to rush in. We got the Six of Pentacles. They want to reach out, but they're not sure if you're going to reciprocate how you're going to feel, you see. Yes, they need to get to know you more, definitely. Once this person breaks the ice, I think there's going to be a lot of talk. Things could start moving fairly quickly. Leo, tell me about this Eight of Wands. Yeah, look at that. So there's that Sag energy, Aries, or another Leo energy. feel like this person's definitely coming towards you in the right way. Justice, yeah, they want to talk to you about something here. I feel this person's focused on their career. I feel they're quite balanced. I need to balance um, maybe work and play. Uh, I feel that energy. This is somebody who, oh, very focused on career finances, very sexy, very charming, very charismatic person. They're going to be a lot of talk. I see a lot of communication. I feel that things could move forward quite quickly i feel they see you as somebody who can bring balance into their life vice versa this could move towards a commitment very quick this is not somebody who's going to give up once this person makes up their mind they get their bearings if it's an ex this isn't this person's not going to give up if, even if it's a new person they're not going to give up they're going to go about things right they see you as just right they're very focused on this right now there you are, Leo. They see you as just right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, they see you. Yeah, I feel like you're very balanced. You got something. You both got the fire. Aries, Leo, Sag, for sure. Uh, they see you as sexy, charming, vice versa. I feel like the two of you have a lot of balance. You're going to, I think you're going to be a really good fit. I do. And I feel, I think this person's a little worried that you won't see them as a good fit. Okay. You will stand in your power. They have to come right. If this person's only focused on the passion, right? If they're very focused on about, you know, having everything their way, being a little bit domineering, uh, they you definitely will stand up to them. It's telling you to be a little bit patient. I feel you need to be patient with each other here as well. I think this person's definitely ready to invest in, in commitment into a relationship. I think it's going to take you by surprise. I think it's going to take off very quickly. I feel for most of you, if it's not an X or a reconciliation, this is going to happen out of the blue, and you're not going to believe who this person is, okay? Somebody who's a bit of a mystery person. Uh, it could also be this person all of a sudden suddenly realize and they have really deep feelings for you, okay? Somebody who's taken a long time to come back around. 
for some of you yeah not all of you for sure the energy yeah see there's that sag energy yeah this person's definitely aiming for success they're ready to invest I feel this is somebody who definitely has a bit of an ego. They're used to getting a lot of attention. But I feel that you will stand in your power. You're going to make sure this person, right, that they're focused on you, that they're, they don't, they're not giving attention to other people, and I don't see it. I actually feel it's going to work out totally in your favor. Look at this. Beautiful. I, I love it when the tower feels positive like this, when it's like this big surprise. Someone who has been harboring feelings for you, Leo. Uh, looks like a Sag, definitely a lot of Sag energy. Yeah, this person's got a lot of feelings. <laughs> definitely going to do something sweet. They want to have success, so they're coming towards you. And I feel this is somebody who is going to show you that they like you more than tell you verbally. Okay, I think it's going to shock you. I do. I think it's going to be a big surprise. At that yeah look at there's that investment yeah this person's ready to invest and you're not going to be so sure oh my goodness if it's an ex you're not going to be sure i feel this person's worried that you won't be interested in them that you have other people around you they see you as someone who's so attractive you probably have a lot of other people giving you attention and that's what i feel for them uh, they're looking at that, waiting for the right time. They're a little worried about being rejected. This isn't someone who does rejection very well, okay, because it'll hurt their ego. Maybe you rejected this person in the past, some of you, and they're coming back. Maybe you hurt their ego a bit. <laughs> they're worried that you'll do it again. I don't think so, though. No, I don't. Uh, I feel like as though you're ready for some attention, uh, I do feel like you're ready for somebody to do some sweet things for you, Leo. And I feel as though you will be a little unsure. But I feel for the most part, this person's afraid. They are that you're going to reject them. That's the biggest thing. You may have rejected this person in the past, maybe because they had a bit of an ego. Maybe they weren't giving you attention that you wanted at the time. Because I feel both of you are very similar. <laughs> Yes, you both like, you both might have a little bit of egos there, possibly. Oh, look at that. Yeah, so they're going to offer you the big cup. This is a fresh new start. I feel like it's telling you to be patient with this person. Give them the opportunity uh, to come in. Give it a, a chance to move forward successfully before you reject this person. Okay. You may not be too sure, but here's that opportunity, that fresh new start. They will eventually tell you that they love you, okay? Yeah, wow. Tell me about round and around. Yeah, someone's coming back around with the world. Let things evolve. Let it evolve naturally. Don't try to rush it. You know, it's taken this person quite some time to come back around. It looks like you may have rejected them in the past. Or maybe they rejected you and they're seeing you differently. They're now with the hangman. They're looking at you in a different way. They see you as marriage material. Maybe because they've changed, they've evolved, they're now ready for uh, a commitment. This is someone who's kind of been, you know, gone within themselves. You know, reflecting on their belief, tradition, their behavior, the way they conduct themselves, the way they see marriage. You could be of different religions or something like that as well. You both may have to take a little pause and look at that. But I feel with this Four of Wands, I feel commitment, something solid. I feel there's something here with the foundation. This person's ready for commitment. They may even say, let's move in together. You're, I think you're going to be very shocked about what's about to happen, some of you. If it's an ex, they may want to move in together. You could even get... They could surprise you. Some of you, I'm not going to, I don't want you to get your hopes up. I hate doing that. But some of you could actually, if you know who this is, you could become engaged and it could surprise you. Okay. Wow. Look, it just came out. Yeah. This person's coming in very quickly, very fast. Once, if you, it's, once you accept this offer, I feel like you're going to look at it from every angle. It has to do with commitment, possibly marriage, a solid relationship. I feel once you accept this offer, this person's going to come in very fast. They're going to be like, I'm on my way over if they can talk to you, right? And uh, if there's a text message, things like that. Oh, yeah, they're going to be off to the races very quickly for the X energy. Actually, for any of them, it's here. This is somebody who's ready for success. 
somebody who's ready for love. You want something simple, though. Like, I feel as though you want this very simple love. Something, it's sort of like the days gone by, you know, that first crush. Um, you know, where it's just easy, where you just fall into it. It's natural. You don't second guess it. That's the kind of energy I feel is what you want. Yeah, so be patient, I feel. This person, I do feel that they they will invest. I do feel this could move forward successfully. Uh, you just you may miss an opportunity. If you reject this person, you could miss an opportunity. Okay, just to let you know. Yeah, so you've got the King of Cups that fell. You're going to get what you want. You're getting a wish granted. Somebody here is definitely ready for love. You're going to get the big offer eventually. It's just going to take a bit here. And I feel this person's, they are definitely, first and foremost, yes, they are very uh, passionate, okay? They are focused on the physical a lot, but they are also very emotional, okay? You are going to get what you want here. And <laughs> this person's fantasizing about you, whoever they are. Tell me about the Treasure Island. Yeah, this person's really, they're not someone who's going to give up very easy. They're going to come charge again. If they make you an offer, they get a hold of you and say, hey, can I come over? Or Because I feel like they're trying to figure out how to approach you. Uh, they're either going to give you something or ask you if they can come see you. It could be anything. It's a seed that's planted um, with love and emotion and all the right energy. This could turn into something really beautiful, which it looks like it does. Yeah, look at that star energy. Yeah, so I feel like you're about to get your uh, get something that you want here. Beautiful with the star, finding that inner balance. Yeah, there is a need to balance that passion and that emotional energy. I feel Leo that you're definitely going to stand up for yourself. You want to make sure this person's not coming in just looking for attention. Okay, but you know I can see here you. <laughs> You are due for some attention. You like the attention too, Leo. Yes, you do. This person definitely could be a Sagittarius. I see some Libra and Taurus energy too. Uh, Aquarius energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me about Imagine. Yeah, I think there's a lot of balance between the two of you. Tell me about the star. Yeah, this person's fantasizing about you a lot, imagining themselves with you. Oh, yeah, they're reminiscing. Some of you, it's definitely an ex or somebody you rejected in the past or they rejected you and they're seeing you differently. Maybe this person is looking at you different or they're seeing themselves differently. Uh, they're coming in to try something different, a whole different approach, a whole different way of doing things. Lovely. Some of you might have a couple people giving you attention from your past, too. You may have some options here. You may be thinking about them, but I actually feel like it's the person fantasizing about you, seeing the possibilities. Don't, whatever you do, just take it slow, let it evolve. Don't get too carried away, okay? Take your time, get to know whoever this is. Even if it's an ex, you've got to kind of get ease into this, okay? Because uh, it's kind of telling you, don't get ahead of yourself with the imagination, the fantasizing, seeing the possibilities, making a choice. Oops. Don't fly everywhere, cards. Tell me more about Seven of Cups to Leo. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Wheel of Fortune. There you go. Yeah, you have a whole new cycle. So some of you have your options open and you have a bunch and you're, or this person does. Let me tell you, it's the end of options. <laughs> I feel like there's a whole new cycle. I feel you're getting love. Um, but to be honest, I feel like this person's doing more fantasizing than you are. Wheel of Fortune, yeah. Some of you, it's a reconciliation. Someone's just waking up to the idea of love, you see. This is someone who's gone in and reflected about commitment, marriage, their belief, their tradition. This is someone who maybe didn't have a lot of faith in marriage or commitment or that the two of you could be on the same page. Uh, they're seeing it different now, let me tell you. And I don't know why. It's maybe because you stood up to them, uh, because you're made, making them come in right. You said something here that was very passionate. 
to do with this Eight of Wands. I see a lot of communication about justice, balance, marriage, commitment, being treated fair, taking a stand. <laughs> yes, yeah, see this person misses you. Someone's missing you. I think you're both lonely. I do. I think the loneliness is going to bring you back together. This person may have, maybe this person rushed away, things ended suddenly due to fears. Maybe they ghosted you or vice versa. Kind of doesn't feel that way, but it's possible. Feel this person's coming in to speak a truth. Yeah, I see some happiness. Oh my gosh, Leo, beautiful. Yeah, go the distance. You're going to be happy. This person's now ready to go the distance. If they are at a bit of a distance, I'm going to tell you, they're going to be, as soon as you say yes, this person's on their way. Put it that way, okay? Uh, because I do feel this is definitely something coming in very fast, and it's going to take you by surprise. You're not going to be quite sure what to think. Uh, you may not be sure that the way they come towards you is good enough. Not sure you want to invest, but it's telling you to be patient. Don't miss this opportunity. Uh, if this is someone who keeps coming around, this could be an opportunity. Maybe they feel like they missed an opportunity with you in the past because they didn't share their feelings. You see? Maybe they had their back turned on their emotions and they kind of blew it. But you're getting what you want. So I wish you guys the best in this. I don't think this is going to take forever. The only part I see, the slow part, is if for those of you where it's definitely you can see this person as an ex, if they are somebody you want to come back around because it feels like you want this person to, uh, I don't see energy where you don't really want this person. I feel that's where it's 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 been a slow process, but I feel you're about to get what you want. And I feel there's this need to purge and release whatever happened between you to be able to move forward. Don't know what it is this person did. I'm not seeing anything bad other than you weren't on the same page. You weren't getting each other or you didn't take the time to get to know each other. Now it's time to, yeah, there's a message coming, an emotional message, a message in a bottle. Lovely. Have you ever seen this card? It's the prettiest card. You see that pelican on the bottle? It's bobbing in the water. Beautiful. So you have an emotional message coming. This person's just making up their mind about it. So if there's somebody out there you haven't seen in a long time, this person's about to come. This, this message is about commitment. This is about justice. You're about to get what you want. There's justice. This person wants to do things fair. They may be wanting to clear things up with you. Remember, I'm focusing on the X energy. For those of you where it's a new person, I feel that this person is somebody possibly a little bit distant. Somebody who... They may be somebody who travels for a living. They may be someone who kind of comes around your neighborhood. They may, like I say, they may actually even... Um, Come into your neighborhood, be near your home. They may have checked you out. I feel as though you may figure out who this is, if it's a new, like this is somebody you've met, but coming in new. They're coming in for love, okay? Where before I feel, no, this person, uh, there was something out of balance, something wasn't right. You couldn't get on the same page. Uh, maybe you went to see this person, met this person. Maybe you met this person online dating or something, and they came to see you. Things weren't right. They may be coming back around and actually start something with you. It actually could go somewhere this time. Yeah, this is somebody who's ready to do things by the book, play by the rules, to do things the right way. Someone who's thinking more about commitment and marriage, being faithful. I do feel there's someone who didn't have a lot of faith in this before because they've changed, they've changed their whole perspective for some reason. Maybe it's because they've been really lonely. Uh, they've reminisced and thought about you. Maybe you gave this person, for those of you where it's an ex, you gave this person a lot of attention in the past. They're thinking about that attention, that love, that nurturing. But they have to come and give it to you. I can see for the ex energy. They need to come towards you and give you what you want before they can get what they want. <laughs> like this person's so fantasizing about you. It's crazy. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourselves, Leo. Bye for now.